welcome back to Strider Games, everybody. The Division Beta has been extended by 24 hours, ending on Tuesday. So I am bringing you this bonus video of some Dark Zone action. Don't forget to please like and subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel. And you can find me on Twitter at Strider Games and on Facebook at Facebook slash Strider Games. Now, please, let's just watch this. Let's go. We're back. Back in the dark zone. I thought I'd do the dark zone because it's uh, where most of the stuff I need to collect is because I've completed um, the main quest of the beta anyway. So let's have a little look what's happening out here in the dark zone and see if some of the issues that I had before remain. <clears throat> Still questioning the graphical quality. It looks better at night, I have decided that. Um, the lights and the snow, especially if there's fog. Some of these buildings, as you can see, you can go into. But do they lead anywhere? I have changed slight opinions about this game. I'm kind of looking forward to it being released in March. Because <laughs> once I played this, after I played the Division Beta the other day, I had a quick go on and that was the end. Something's happening. There's people around me. Go in here, boys. And Metal Gear is kind of the same thing, this third person military feel about it. And I love that game. Um, graphics are better on that, I think. But just the thought of having this character that I've created and changing appearances, collecting, building skill trees, I love that sort of game. I kind of want it to be modern day. Is, and I kind of want it to be a bit more Metal Gear-like, i.e. guns and actual people in an environment that I understand and know. Fallout's good, but this is modern day New York, so it feels like a good. Look at this. Look at this bullet sponging. Sort this out, please. I don't care what level this guy is. No man in a hoodie. Take barrage 308 rounds to the chest like that. The only thing that's annoying about this game is the AI mechanics, the way they can take those bullets. Because I can't take bullets like that, I get hit about four times and I'm dead. The fire, it looks pretty cool. Another inside area. Can't really explore as much inside as I hoped. Morning. Now entering a contaminated area. Within the dark zone, which is already contaminated. Leaving contaminated area. I'm assuming that these contaminated areas throughout the dark zone will increase in um, danger, and you have to upgrade your gas masks to be able to, to be order to be able to enter them. Just got a standard gas mask, so... This is what I mean, we've, we've been playing this for about five odd minutes. I've come across two enemies. There's not much to do in the dark zone. In this beta, at least. Hopefully that will change. I want missions, I want enemies, I want side quests within the dark zone. Something happen. Isn't this where I started? There's not enough loot in this area either. The, these buildings should have 
things on shelves or in boxes or in rooms that you need to collect. Time to knock some heads. Yeah. Might get some action. Hoodie guys. Come to me with a bat when I'm shooting him with a machine gun. <clears throat> Where are you, young man? I don't know what that symbol means. It's like a missile symbol, maybe he's got loot, grenades or something. I know sometimes if you shoot the grenade guys that they blow up. Don't want to throw that there. <clears throat> this fog effect is fantastic. This game does look a lot better at night. With the lights, especially when there's fog. Now, do these guys have anything, or have I just wasted my time again? Funds. I want some decent loot, man. Very sparse, this dark zone. There isn't much going on. I'm stuck on a wall. <clears throat> but there's something about this game which... Yes, I've said some negative things about it, um, but I'm still playing it, so there must be something I enjoy about it. And I do enjoy these open world games. Expansion, expanding your character and exploration and missions. That's what I like. The missions, the side ops, the hidden missions, exploring the world. I want this world to be open. As in, you can pretty much go where you like and there's missions and things to do. I don't like... I don't like the lack of loot. The lack of people. Where is everybody? Why is there no one down here? I played this the other day and there was about seven or eight troops down here. <clears throat> now, just corpses. Maybe these are the people I killed last time. Thanks. Do you remember me? So, the subway is empty. Doesn't appear to be anyone down here. Look at that lighting effect though, it does look good, doesn't it? Yes, there are keys behind the dock and apparently enemies drop them or find them in loot boxes which open certain crates which I've yet to find. Surely this dark zone should be rich pickings for loot and things to do. If this is finished dark zone, I'll be disappointed. Is there anyone here? Eh? There's a man there. He's non-hostile. Maybe we can try to link up with this guy. Have a little friend. Let's have a look. The trouble with the Dark Zone is you never know if these agents are going to shoot you in the face. Troll Blade. That's be friends. Uh, or just vanish. He'd rather vanish than join my team. Thanks a lot, Trollblade. You're an arsehole. Probably just left the game, though. That's probably what happened. The gunfire. Which means something's happening, which means I might finally get to get some loot. After an hour and a half, 
nothing happening. Sort it out, Ubisoft. Bit glitchy. Give it a pop up there. Now. I like this covering system. It's quite, it's very, um, precise. Agent, I am inbound on your position. Someone's called for an extraction here. And there he is, you can see him hiding in the tent. Look, he must have loot on him. Can't Shall I be a complete bastard and shoot him? Take his stuff? No, I'm a good guy. There he goes. Puts his stuff on. Probably got some awesome loot from somewhere. But where? That's the question. Wandering aimlessly around this empty zone. I haven't seen the cleaners yet either in this game. There's their truck. But even in the solo campaign area, I've yet to come across them. Which is annoying because I was trying to find them and hoping I would because I really wanted to see just how tough they are. I know that they are supposed to be the hardest enemies um, in the game because they have flamethrowers, they have best gas masks, they have super um, armor. And apparently they're really tough to kill. You do need a group. I was looking forward to finding them at least and um, uh, giving it a go, but having said that, maybe they're saving it for the main game. Although they were in the alpha, I'm pretty sure they were in the alpha. There's gunfire. So back to this covering system. I like it. I think it's a good way of doing it. I've often struggled with covers, cover shoes in the past, with just dodgy covering um, mechanics where you can't cover, where you want to cover, he jumps up, you can't jump up, you can't do this. This one, wherever you point, you can pretty much cover, see, and it gives you a little route on where you can go, and that's really precise, and I love it. So there's some guys at the petrol station going to take them out. Now this will be good with other people, if I had any friends, for them to flank them. I'm going to bomb guard there. Again, he can somehow survive an explosion, so that's good. Something's happening. I think other agents are here. Yes. Oh, I accidentally shot him and him. Okay, I'm now rogue. What happens now? It would seem that uh, I'm going to die. Yes, yes, don't good. So one point with the, the Division Dark Zone is watch who you're shooting or you will die. This guy's dead as well though, so ha ha ha. Dark Zone. <coughs> Take a look. Let's Hold have a look at some of this loot here. here in the Dark Zone vendor. A pretty hefty machine gun which I can't afford. Blue means uh, specialized. Some leg pads. I might get them. They are a lot better than mine. They give me lots of extras. So I have those. And I can't afford anything else, so that's great. Let's go. If you like how it works, some new knee pads. I can work out the button to put them on. Here we go. So most of my gear is green. I'd like it all to be this is the shit you yellow need. because that's the rarest stuff. I'm already stopped. Apologies. So let's go. Bio Try again. 
Oh, hello. How are you? Uh, I don't think this one speaks to me either. Getting a uh, kind of idea here that no one wants to play with me. I always want to use my sidearm because I think it looks the coolest. Realise that it's useless against most enemies. Especially in this game where they're all invulnerable to bullets. Here's something. I can hear something. Fight. Off. Let's get involved. Everywhere. Can't shoot them in the head. Because nothing happens. At least headshots should kill them in one shot, surely. I think this bullet sponging is going to seriously do my head in. I like this thing, that's quite cool. Anyone else around? Telling me three where they are. There's white, that's the other agent. Down. Oh. Collect this stuff. Oh, a holster. Green, no, I don't want green, I want a little yellow. Two more guys. This red circle means someone's throwing a grenade at me. I'm gonna throw one back. Ran straight into it. Grenades, bullets, it doesn't matter what you throw at these guys, they're just going to keep on coming at you. Finally, he's dead. Finally, he's dead. Oh, that hurts. Give me health. Yes! I've got some weird shapes going on. I don't know what that's about. I've got my sweet loot. So now we need to extract it from the dark zone. I would go here, but there's a little red skull there, which means there's a rogue agent. So we're going to go here. Dark Zone, I'm hoping in the main game it's going to be a lot bigger. I'm assuming it is because this area is tiny. It's small, but nothing in it. If this was the full size Dark Zone, you'd go for days without finding anything. So there's a coffee shop there. Why can't I go in there and get some? Water and stuff. Like what happened in the original trailer. Picking water off the desk. Things change, I guess. Daylight is here. Which means the graphics don't look as good. This extraction point. Something's happening. Explosions. Maybe rogue agents. I don't have really anything decent. They don't know that, you see. I just have a couple of knee pads. You know, any kind of I'd still like to get it out because it gives me points. There's a guy just stood there. On your position. Is he rogue? Doesn't have a thing above his head. The tension of the dark zone. As soon as this, there's another guy there, he's got something on his back. This guy doesn't have anything on his back. See, there isn't a yellow 
um, round radiation pouch on him. Is he waiting to kill me as I come out? He's waiting to kill me as I come out. If I leave this cover, he's going to kill me. Take my stuff. Commencing extraction. Maybe he's just a noob. What's going on? Maybe he thinks this is how you get out of the game. Two of us now. He hasn't done anything. So it turns out he's just a complete. We've got the package. Noob, noob. Probably thinks that's the way out of the game. <laughs> 15 seconds. So all these guys have probably got better stuff than me, and they found it somewhere, I don't know where. <sighs> all that sweet loot. Let's roam again, Let's see if we can find anything secure. at all. There we go, extraction completed. Holster gloves and some knee pads. Cool. Get these guys. Kill me before. Enough this time. Level seven. A level seven sponge. This guy's got a stick. He's gonna run at me. Two guys with sticks are gonna run at me. Because they know that they can take bullets for hours and not be affected. So why not run at him with a stick? Maybe. Ah. Maybe the virus has killed off people of New York, has given certain people superhuman abilities in that they are nearly invulnerable. That's why they get gangs. That's why the bullets don't affect them as much as it should. I've cracked it. That's the twist in the division that these people you're fighting are superhumans. It's the only explanation. Finally some loot. Oh! Run away! He's probably got a stick. Someone made a bad Really should watch my ammunition level. More knee pads. I seem to only be able to collect knee pads in this game. Knee pads and holsters. Never any guns. I like these interior spaces, but there should be more loot in here. If you go into a building in, say, all out. It's there's stuff in the drawers, there's stuff on the side, on the floor, everywhere. Even if it is survival gear, um, food or whatever. These oh, hello. He says. Division tech. Don't know what that does. We won't know till the main game. Oh. His sponge powers to soak up some more chemicals. Okay, there's weirdly two of the same person. So the virus obviously allows her, her power is probably to split herself up to many different people. Well, they're twins who just happen to have found exactly the same outfits in the in the world. doesn't work quite so well at close quarters combat. I find it's reasonably difficult to melee people. So I've got some stuff. Finally. Knee pads? Yes. Knee pads? Yes. All knee pads. These two fucks are gonna kill me, aren't they? Please don't kill me. 
please don't kill me. You absolute bastard. My knee pads! Well, thank you everybody for joining me for this bonus division video. Um, this beta is still running till Tuesday, I believe, and I'm gonna just keep playing it. I think these mutant men are gonna get some more bullets sucked into them. Another guy, look at these guys, they're everywhere. Please come back, there'll be more videos coming this week. I think um Star Wars Battlefront. I've been having a little go on that for reasons unknown. Please like, please do subscribe. Hit your comments below. You can of course find me at Strider Games on Twitter and Facebook slash Strider Games on Facebook. I'll see you next time when I'll be doing something different. Agents everywhere. There's rogue agents here. I guess that's those two talking. Those weird wiggly lines. Here comes the chopper. Am I gonna make this? Getting item extraction. Let's go. Rogues! Confirmed. Cargo is secured. Hard if you think the AI's bullet spongy fighting other players is even worse. They've got the bullet sponge powers and medical um, generation, obviously, the many packs. Extraction complete. Oh, I've got some more knee pads, that's good for me. <coughs> I don't think I'm going to kill these guys. They're just going to end up killing me. Run away! Thanks again, guys. See you soon. I'm going to escape with my life. <laughs>